Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and today I'm going to present to you kind of different kind of pastela recipe. This is going to be done in trays and bake in the oven instead of boiled. I'm going to use these smaller 8 by 8 trays because I'm going to do individual ones to send out to people. It will say on the label, okay, 8 by 8 and you can find these at Dollar General Store. You get three in a pack, okay? So that's what I'm going to use. You can make it in a larger tray, a 9 by 13. Um, that's fine. Keep in mind, though, that the baking time will differ, okay? So, this is going to be baked in a water bath, and I'm going to bake two at a time in a bigger pan, okay? So, that's going to leave me with a baking time about 50 minutes, maybe, to an hour and in a water bath, okay? And I'm going to show you what we need to make this recipe, okay? Usually, pastelas are wrapped up in the banana leaves and parchment paper, okay, what we call pastel, papel de pastel, okay, so we're not using the papel de pastel ahora, okay, right now we're not going to use the parchment paper, we only need the banana leaves, you can do the green banana leaves or the plantain banana leaves, it doesn't matter, either one is good, just remember to manteguarlo, all right, to sear them, pass them through a flame. Okay, it brings out the flavor. If you get a store-bought, you still have to clean them, okay, with a damp cloth on both sides of the leaf, and you have to sear them through the, just pass them through a, a heat or a flame. Now these, I've packed away in my freezer, which is why they look so wet, um, in a freezer bag. And they've already been washed, but they do need to be seared. So anyway, these are the ingredients. I'm going to make mine. If you use ham, that's fine. You know, cuts of ham or tocino, whatever you like. We don't do pork in our household, so we use smoked turkey tails. You can use neck bones, whatever you want, as long as you get the smoked turkey meat. Okay, so I've got three smoked turkey tails that I'm going to boil in minimal water, okay, because I'm going to use that water also for my masa, which I'll explain what that is later. So I've got three that I'm going to boil, and then I'll take the meat off the little bones. We're going to need a plantain banana, okay. You usually get them a lot greener than this, but what can I say? This is the nearest to me right now. Uh, the Cuban store is about an hour away from us, so I, I don't get to get go there often. But, uh, so I have to, you know, kind of just go with what Walmart has, and this is the greenest that they, I could find. So anyway, three packs of sasong. I'm making two pounds of ground beef, some people like to add raisin to their masa. That's optional, okay? Any of these ingredients, like the smoked turkey tail that I mentioned, that you can trade off with pork, and the raisins are optional. Garbanzos, you're going to need these, okay? They're also optional. If you want to do little pieces of potatoes, diced potatoes, by all means, or just don't make the whole thing, okay? Uh, red pimentos. A must. These are sliced green olives with pimento. So optional on the olives. If you don't like them, you can replace them with your favorite olives. Kalamata, uh, black, you know, your favorite. Now, you're going to need a chote oil. Now, I have some already made. But this is lighter than what this recipe calls for. So I'm going to make a darker chote oil, 
okay, by matching the amount of oil, which this is half a cup, and the amount of annatto seed, which is this is half a cup, okay? That's what they, I don't know if you can see them really well. Let me see if I can put them in the light. This is what they look like, okay? Little red seeds. And that will give you the color and flavor, okay? So half a cup of my vegetable oil, with half a cup of anato oil in my musa, okay, uh, achote oil maker, tin can. It comes with the strainer, okay, to strain the oil out from the seed and the lid to cover it and let it cool down before you mess with it. This is not heat resistance. This tin is designed to get hot quick and it does and it keeps that heat for a while so make sure you let it cool down after you cook that oil and don't handle it with your bare hands never always have your heat resistant holder okay and if you don't have that the glove or just wait till it completely cools down i'm telling you it gets really hot Anyway, so I've mentioned all of those ingredients. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the masa. Now, for the masa, you can find, like I did, green banana dough, okay? And what it is, it's green bananas blended, okay? And it makes a masa or a dough. To that, we're going to add the one plantain banana and yuca rayada, which is grated yuca. This, once it defrosts, you have to put through a strainer colander so you can strain out whatever liquid may be left. But this is what we're going to use for our masa. Now, I'm not going to use all of this banana dough already made. I'm going to use just part of it. I am going to use these bananas. Now, these green bananas, I know they look black, and they are. It's because I put them in the freezer. They were left over from another recipe. So I put them in the freezer. I've wrapped them up real well and put them in a the freezer. They will turn black, but they do preserve, okay? So the guinea on the inside is still white, as you can see. It's still white. And the best thing about this is that it's already been frozen, so water has developed inside of it, and it is so soft, it will blend right in, in your blender, so easy, okay? It won't be hard. This is not soft. This is still hard. It's green, okay, as you can see by the uh, teeth. It's still green. So... Those are the ingredients. You can add like chopped onions if you want, chopped peppers, or just julienne, sliced peppers, one red, one green. You know, you will add the uh, pimento strips also. We use sofrito to put into our masa. The first thing you want to do is prepare, wipe down, and sear your banana leaves, okay? First thing. So once you do that, then you go on to preparing your meat. For me, smoked turkey tails, I have to boil them down, okay? If you have ham hocks, ham neck bones, whatever you want to use, or just one of those uh, ham steaks, if you want to use pork, then you would have to prepare that part along with your meat, whatever kind of meat you're using. Most people will do pork butt roast or something. You can do that and then skip on the uh, ham steaks and all that. You could just do a Boston butt roll and that's it. That's your meat. Okay. So that's what's done second. Third is your masa. Okay, I have to prepare this last because it's frozen, so I have to let it defrost. Let me show you. Let me 
put the seeds in there. Put the oil. Some people wait for the oil to get hot and then put their nacho seeds in there. And you can do that if you want to. And that's what it's going to look like. I don't know if you can see them be over here. It's a dark, dreary day today. I'm sorry, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare this. I'm going to put it on a medium. Once I get the meat done, I'll bring you back. Okay, I forgot this guy. Another thing you're going to need with your masa is some um, pumpkin or galasa, okay, as we call it. So I'm not going to use all of this. I'll just use about a third of it, and the rest I'm going to use to make some pumpkin bread. All right, so I'll bring you back for that one too. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, welcome back. Here we go. So I've thought out the yucca and strained it through a colander and a screen colander. And I got my banana in here also. Like I said, I didn't use the whole bag of the bananas because... That's a little icy. Uh, I didn't need that much. So I went ahead and just did like one third of the bag. But I did use the entire bag of the yucca. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up here really well. Blend it in. All right. So in here I have, I went ahead and grated some pumpkin. Like I explained I was going to, and I have my banana, and I grated my plantain, okay? I grated it using this side of the grater. See, there's the big holes, big grater holes. Here's the little ones. These are real tiny, tiny ones, but I don't use those. I use these, okay? So that's what I use to grate my plantain and my pumpkin. Seasoning. It's a little bit of sofrito. About a tablespoon. Go ahead and put some onion powder. garlic powder a little bit of adobo and the packets of sasso I'm not going to put salt until I taste it because even though the meat doesn't have salt it's very very well flavored so we're going to do two packets, start off with two packets of sasson, see where that leaves us. And then put this in there. Okay. Get it mix this up really well. Okay, I decided to use my hand blender <clears throat> or mixer. Chuck that oil. Okay. Okay, we mix in. 
Put the oil. Okay. Gonna give it a little taste. That to me is it. Now that we got all of this done, we're going to go ahead and move over to our trays. Okay, so after I mix the smoked turkey leg pieces with the ground beef, and I poured in some of the stock in here and mix it up. I'm going to go ahead and put the base, the patella here. Okay, let me spread that out. some of this delicious meat can you all see this this is the meat once I mixed in the smoked turkey tails in there okay So we've got that. Now we're going to put the topping of the masa on. Okay. Spread that out really well. So this one is done. I just have to top off, uh, put the meat and top off the other one, which I have on the counter. And then I'll be back with how to wrap and bake. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how we're going to wrap this up. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take some of the leaves for the top. If you have one square 8x8 eight eight piece, that's awesome. If you don't, this would be the way to go. Take some of the oil, spread it on the leaf, okay, and put the leaf on the pastelon, the pastele. Okay. All right. So that's that. We're going to add aluminum foil. We're going to put a sheet. I can grab this. A sheet on the top. do a little chef's wrap so make sure no water gets inside
and poke a couple of holes in it so it could breathe. And into the pan. There's the pan. So I'm going to do the second one and put it in there and I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, so here's the pan I'm going to use. It'll probably be a snug fit, I would think, but it will fit. And what you're going to need is to put a rack in so that the bottom of the masa doesn't burn. Okay, so you do need a rack. What we're going to do is snugly fit our pasteles de pastelon pans. Okay. It's a snug fit, but it fits. Okay. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Oven has been preheated to 350 once we put it in the oven. We can add water halfway of the pan, of the pastel pan, that is. Okay, so let me get my cup here, get this water going. just have to let her bake. I'm going to put it for about an hour because there's two of them. I'm thinking maybe an hour and 15 minutes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one hour. Uh, I'm going to do an hour and a half. I'll be back with the results. Okay, so I just took these out of the oven after an hour and a half. There's the other one. Just got it out. And it looks to be done. Look at that pretty, pretty color. Huh? Oh, yeah. But I'm going to taste it first. Okay. I'm going to take a spoon, a little teaspoon, and go in this corner right here. Oh, wow, it feels ready. Ooh-wee! I think I got me a uh, smoked turkey tail. <laughs> Yep, it's done all the way through, through and through, as you can see. I'm going to taste it. It's very, very hot. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, my. Mmm. <laughs> I can't talk right now. Oh, gosh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pastelón de pasteles tastes just like pasteles. Try it out. You won't be sorry. Now, again, two trays like this, two eight by eights. Okay. One hour and 30 minutes at 350. I would think that one tray alone would be half that time. Um... I'm going to go ahead and serve dinner. Once I plate up, let me show you. There it is. And some yellow rice. That's what's going to go with this. Well, not that one. This one. And I got some pink beans. I always make a big pot and freeze them in little containers for hopster and I. So I'm going to go ahead and thaw that out. Heat it up. And that will be dinner along with his salad. He'll love that. And he's got some dinner rolls. And that will be it. So, until the next time. Listen, you all like my video, please go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed my recipes. 
Over to the right, there's a notification bell. Tap on it, and that will enable to notify you every time I upload one of my video recipes, okay? So, the end will be the plated version. I will show the pictures. Until the next one, listen, you all. Y'all bless each and every one of you. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye from Ani's Kitchen.